Hello again everybody, this is the Java Kid with another JavaScript for Kids video. Today in this JavaScript video, we will be using Firefox's developers tool to get a deeper understanding of the provided mathematical operators in JavaScript. So let's jump right into it. Anyways, um, over here we have Firefox. We're going to uh, left click, or no, right click, sorry. <laughs> right click, go to inspect element, it will open up this dock right here. Go to console, we will be using that later. And after that, just go to scratchpad here. I have it on another top, so I won't press it. Um, anyways, so on to the stuff. We will be learning five mathematical operators today, and those operators are going to be addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, and an operator called modulo. So let's get right into the first operation, addition. So let's just do a simple calculation right here. It's going to be called 2 plus 2. And we are going to use this display button right here because it displays um, the answer of uh, this or any calculation on the JavaScript right here because obviously we are not going to do it up here. So let's test that out. If we press run, it will not pop up here, but it is actually um, behind the scenes. JavaScript is calculating this equation. So um, unfortunately, we're not going to use alert in this episode. Uh, because just display is just uh, something easier to use. So we're just going to press display, and this answer will pop up. And of course, that is 4. So 2 plus 2, easy equation. Um, not that hard. I mean, of course, JavaScript is a powerhouse for compiling large amounts of data, and a simple addition problem is not that uh, hard for it to calculate. So um, in the same manner, we would calculate 2 minus 2, by using the subtraction symbol display of course it's zero and now we're going to go on to the more complicated and um, sort of uh, more um, efficient uh, more usable operators which are division and multiplication I use these two a lot in my code and you will find out later as we uh, progress on to more videos so Let's go 2, not 22, 2 divided by 2. Let's press run. I mean, <laughs> sorry, display. And of course, wait, 2 divided by 2 isn't 1. What is happening? Anyways, on to the next one. It's going to be multiplication. And this, um, actually, let me talk about uh, something from before. Um, 2 divided by 2, as you can see, I'm using the forward slash. This might not be uh, something you see in when you're regularly dividing division. You see that line with the two circles on the top and bottom. But uh, in JavaScript, we are going to use the forward slash, and that is what you are going to use to uh, divide. So uh, let's get on to the next one, which is going to be multiplication. <laughs> wow. Okay. So we're going to go on to multiplication. And multiplication, this, the multiplication symbol might not be uh, something you s see normally too, and it's going to be this. And an asterisk isn't mainly what you would see when you uh, multiply two things together, but in JavaScript, of course, um, it's different. Uh, and in, main, in many co coding languages, it's going to be different when you use multiplication and division. It's going to be the same as uh, we just showed you right here. I mean, I just showed you, not we. I'm not part of the Illuminati or something. They're on to us, guys. They're on to us. And, okay, the last operator, modulo. Um, this might be a bit confusing, so um, I'm going to use a, two, a different calculation. Oh, wait, we didn't calculate. <laughs> okay, 2 multiplied by 2. Press display right here, and that's 4. <laughs> okay. Anyways, okay, we're going to use modulo right here. Um, modulo is a bit complicated, but trust me, it will be easy once you get it. Um, so we're going to use something uh, a bit more odd. So let's do 13, um, let's say divided by uh, 3. Uh, I mean modulo 3, sorry. Uh, so modulo, um, if you have ever been in uh, maybe like 3rd grade or 4th grade, 
When you have done division, uh, of course, you would use remainders. So uh, remainders is what's left over of your calculation after you use division. So let's say uh, 6 divided by uh, 4. 4 goes into 6 one time, and your uh, remainder is 2. So um, 13 uh, into, what were you going to say? Let's just put 4. Uh, 13 modulo 4. You can just guess this right here. Modulo is basically going to show up the remainder of this equation. So guess it right here, and hopefully you're right. It is 1, guys. So, of course, 4 goes into 13 3 times. That equals 12. 12 plus 1 is 13, so the remainder is going to be 1. So that's what modulo does. Um, it's a bit complicated, but once you get it, it will be super useful in any of your uh, JavaScript um, codes. If you have like long amounts of code, or if you're just uh, trying to uh, uh, just basically useful in any code. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video today. If you did, please do leave a big fat thumbs up or a small one if you want to. I'm fine with that too. <laughs> any kind of support will help. Um, and if you did like this video, it was a bit short, but please do subscribe to see my channel grow and uh, more um, JavaScript for kids videos. And uh, always, of course, keep experimenting with these kinds of codes and keep coding, guys. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!